Hey guys, it's me Dave and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars review. Today we have the Pirate Snub Fighter. The set number is 75346. It's gonna have 285 pieces, a high retail price of 35 US dollars. Given that we're only getting two minifigures and only 285 pieces, I can get a $20 battle pack that has four figures. So the fact that we're only getting two figures for literally $15 more, doesn't make that much sense. So we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Now this set's gonna go on sale May 1st of 2023. I'll have a link down in the description to lego.com where you can buy it. It's affiliated, it helps out the channel. So I was ready to write off the pirate snub fighter as just do not buy. It didn't make any sense to me. Even after seeing the first episode of The Mandalorian season three, you see the pirate snub fighter with a, you know, a brief interaction with the N1 and then that's about it. And I'm like, seriously, Lego's making a set based off that scene. But later in season three, we get another battle with the pirates against not only Mando but also Bo-Katan and her ship and it was awesome. I love that scene. I, I'm sure I'm not the only one that thought that was pretty sweet and you actually see about five of these flying around and going against Bo-Katan as well as Mando and you specifically see Vane who is a character in this set as well so it makes more sense why this set exists. I, at first I was very confused but I understand why it exists now but the price tag definitely doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and build this, see if it's worth that $35. I don't think it will be. And lastly, I just wanna thank Lego for sending this set over for a review. So let's go into the in-depth. So jumping into the Pirate Snub Fighter, like always, let's go ahead and start off with the minifigures. The first figure is the Snub Fighter Pilot in bright light orange. Looks really good. I like this helmet print especially. That's looking nice. I like the honeycomb design on the torso print. And the head design also looks really good being printed on both sides, which I really like. The next figure is Vane, who is kind of like a semi-villain in Mandalorian Season 3. He comes with a sword here, which you can see throughout the show. And then he also has a new head mold as well as some really great torso printing both front and back. Unfortunately, Vane does share the exact same head print as the Snub Fighter pilot, which I find pretty disappointing. So now moving on to the actual Snub Fighter. It is well designed. I have to give Lego that. It feels good in the hand. It looks accurate. I could see kids enjoying this. You know, it holds up very well throughout play. And I like some of the angles. It looks cool. However, it's just a big gray ship, which, you know, that's most of Star Wars, but this one especially just doesn't seem that interesting to me. Maybe I need to see it more throughout the show. Unfortunately, there is a few stickers placed throughout the vehicle. There is no printed elements in this set. As for the cockpit area, it's actually really well designed, nice and spacious for either Vane or the Snub Fighter pilot. They fit in there perfectly. You could even probably put Mandalorian in there if you really want to, because there's room for his jetpack. On the back side, there is a hidden compartment revealing a crate that opens up to thermal detonators, which makes sense given that we're dealing with pirates here. However, this space can only re really be used for the crate. There's no other room for anything else. You can't really put Vane's sword anywhere except maybe the cockpit area. However, there is another secondary secret storage compartment or a smuggling compartment. And in this case, I'm putting a blaster and some stud launchers in there. And speaking of stud launchers, there is two of them on the front side of the snub fighter and they look good. So overall, this set is okay. It has some okay play functions. It's designed well, it looks accurate. So while there is some interesting play functions and decent minifigures, there just isn't a lot to this set. So my final thoughts on the Pirate Snub Fighter. Honestly, I think it looks very accurate, but I just don't care for this set. Like, it's not that interesting to me, especially with everything that's being released right now for LEGO Star Wars. This is the least most appealing set out of the bunch. It's not a bad set. It's well built. It has some cool play functions. I love the smuggling features. That makes a lot of sense given that we're dealing with a pirate ship here. But, I mean, the elephant in the room here, just two minifigures for a $35 price tag. That's crazy. And then on top of that, 285 pieces. It's not even like a 300 plus piece count. Nothing is really adding up for this set for the price that you're paying, especially when you look at the other LEGO Star Wars sets that are currently in the lineup, like Obi-Wan Jedi Starfighter. That's a $30 set and you get three minifigures in that. Uh, you could look at the Death Troopers uh, uh, pack. I know that had a price increase. I think that went up to like 35, which is the same price of this set, but that has four minifigures in it. So it just doesn't make sense. We should have gotten a third or even a fourth minifigure for the price that we're paying in this set. So at 35, I just cannot recommend it. But at 20, 25, 
I think it's worth picking up if you're a fan of The Mandalorian show. Like this would be a cool set to have alongside the N1 Starfighter, so something's going against it. And if you happen to have the 2021 Bo-Katan ship, this would be a fun set to also go against that. So this has a place and it makes sense, I suppose, to why Lego made it, but it's just not that interesting and it's just not worth the price. So I cannot recommend this set at the price point Lego's charging. It's an okay set with okay minifigures. I'm also disappointed that we couldn't even get a, a new version of the head print for Vayne. Lego decided to use the same head print for both minifigures, which is disappointing again for the price that we're paying. Yes, there is a new mold. Vayne's new uh, head print, head thing is is all new, but everything else here is is just the usual. So. I just, I just can't recommend it when you compare the other current LEGO Star Wars sets that are for sale. So with that said, thanks again to LEGO for sending this set over for a review. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you guys going to be picking up the Pirate Snub Fighter on day one? Or are you going to be waiting a little bit longer until a sale for this set, which is what I personally recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.